Hello, 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 and welcome to the BTM Club Kitchen. Today is fish day, and yes, fish, I always take quite a long time to cook because of the process. Now here we have sea bream and red bream, but as you know, if you've been following this series, I always have to go through the process of putting this fish to soak and clean in the lime and salt as you can see it's already been scored to put the seasoning in but especially this one the sea bream very very smelly fishy so i soak it in there so that it can be really immersed in the lime lemon and salt mix and get inside and clean that gut out so this will soak in this for about an hour minimum and then this has to all be washed off and then the seasoning goes on so the fish days are quite a process that's why you see me cook chicken more than anything anyway so the next process is the washing off the cleaning out and the seasoning right as I said fish day the fish has gone through the process of the cleaning and here it is ready to be seasoned we've got the red bream to the front as you see it's nicely scored ready for seasoning to go in it and the two sea bream at the back now I'm gonna cook them in two different styles one will be fried and one will be grilled I wonder if you can guess which one will be fried and which will be grilled mm, okay we'll see right so here we have all the seasoning this is the homemade seasoning of mixed herbs, garlic, scallions, which some people call spring onions, and a little oil I put in it, and fresh thyme, which is for the sea bream and garlic, which will be sliced finely, and all else is a little salt, black pepper, and very good quality olive oil. Okay. Oh yes, and that's the flour for the fish that I'm going to fry. Have you guessed which one yet? Right, right. So as I said, two different styles of fish I'm going to cook. Here is the red bream, as you can see, with the seasoning inside those grooves. That's right. Stuffed down in there. And then the sea bream, which is a completely different seasoning. Very, very simple. Just black pepper and salt, and inside it is stuffed with fresh thyme, garlic, lemon, and again, a little black pepper and salt inside. Now, I've done two different styles of the red bream because some people prefer bigger chunks of garlic, so I chop it, but other people prefer just the essence, like myself. I prefer the essence of the garlic rather than big chunks of it. So I use this and shave the garlic on that and stuff it down inside. So there are two options, you can chop or you can shave and either way you get as much flavor but it really is just about preference as to whether you like it chunky or just to taste the, the essence and get the aroma. So the sea bream is done. That's as, as much as needs to be done there. However, this will go through another process of seasoning because the excess that was stuffed down in the grooves, that will be put in a bowl and it will be mixed around again. So that goes through a further seasoning process. I tell you, fish is hard work. Okay. Now, this is ready to go under the grill. I put a little butter inside, okay? Because garlic butter always works. However, that is optional. Doesn't have to have butter if you don't like dairy. So there are always options. But I do add a little bit of olive oil. Just that there, that's it. Because that adds a nice crispness to the skin. So that is ready for the grill. Okay, so now we are on to the red bream and as I said the final part of this seasoning process is the excess that's left in the mortar and pestle that's right I now put on here so that we use all of it really and yes that pinch of salt that I always talk about which really is dependent on how big your hands are how big that pinch is is 
determined by how big the hands are. Right, so there we go. And remembering that there is already seasoning in the grooves where it's nicely scored. This is the last part of the seasoning process. Right, now it comes to seasoning the flour, which is really easy. And I always laugh when people say, this is a secret recipe. If you keep it a secret, how can people cook it? So my homemade dried seasoning are mixed herbs, a little dried chili, garlic powder, onion granules, black pepper, and that's it. So in that goes to the flour. Back with that little pinch of salt. And believe it or not, I add a little sugar, brown sugar. Two teaspoons. Give that a stir. Make sure it's all evenly distributed through the flour. And then you're ready to add your fish. Simple as that. So the flour is seasoned and ready to put the fish in. Now I never do batters, but what I do is I put the fish in the flour. And as you can see, the fish is slightly damp. So you leave it in and it kind of binds by itself. You don't necessarily need to make a batter with all that drama. So I put the fish in and I let it sit and it starts to almost congeal with the flour and make its own batter, which is nice and light. Um, so yeah, that's it. Fish in, make sure it's fully coated with the seasoned flour and let it sit for a while. And as I always say, let them become acquainted. Let them become acquainted. So here you are, the two sea breeze. If you listen, you can hear it sizzling. Just come out of the oven from under the grill. And that's it there. Two grilled sea bass, sea bream. There you have it, two sea bream, fresh out of the oven. And if you listen carefully, you can hear them still sizzling and see it still bubbling. Nice crispy skin and stuffed with garlic, thyme, lemon, black pepper, salt, and a little butter, which is optional. So there it is, grilled sea bream. Right, so when I'm deep frying, I like to either use corn oil or sunflower oil for the simple reason, it's very light and it doesn't stay on the fish. And as I said, the batter, not necessary to make a batter, as you see, if you leave it to sit in the flour long enough, it actually binds to the fish in its own right. So that is ready to be dropped in to that hot oil. Today I'm using sunflower oil. So yeah, nice and light. Right, right, there is the finished product. Right, there is the finished product, fried fish. That is the red bream with the caramelized onions and some parsley. That's it there. I can't wait. If only you could smell it. <laughs>